what is up everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to deliver another event that got launched today and it is an ekumen sengoku it's a heart to heart connection and i will be playing first hideyoshi's root so i don't want to keep talking and talking i don't i want to drive i want to dive straight in so let's go I'm gonna start from the beginning. Hideyoshi Toyotomi Part 1 It was a beautiful day and the battle we've been fighting in was finally over. My troops and I were heading back, heading home to Azuchi Castle. On the way, all I could think about was Isabella who had traveled on, head, on ahead of the main army. Because I was the lucky charm. We had to hurry back. I won't be able to rest easy until I know that she's safe. I recall the last time we took a break with Mitsunari who, who just finished dealing with the un aftermath of the battle meet up with us. Just so you're aware, the medical tent where Isabella and some of our wounded were staying was raided. I think knowing Hideyoshi, or she, he would be worried sick about me. <laughs> and Isabella, is she okay? See the exclamation point? It's not only worried about me. My character but also for those people around him it's like a mama bear you know he gave me that vibe fortunately I was able to rush to their aid and deal with the situation before anything ca catastrophic happened Isabella assured me that she was fine but later one of the soldiers told me that she lit in front of one of the wounded men in order to protect him you know typical MC Typical MC that I can that I can always imagine. You know, I've been playing a game in Singapore for a good amount of time, and I know how kind kind-hearted MC is. I think it would be best to check on her later to make sure she didn't sustain any injuries du during the scuffle. I want to see her as soon as possible so I can make sure she's all right. This is Isabella we're talking about. After all, it's entirely impossible that she's hurt in a way that others wouldn't be able to see. Because MC doesn't want to worry about anyone. Doesn't want anyone to worry about her. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe we could gallop for a while. Unable to push the exhausted soldiers any harder, I urge my horse to pick up the pace just a little, wishing I could go faster. Oh, it, I think it's killing Hideyoshi that he can't go towards MC, like, you know, faster to assure himself that she's fine, she's not hurt, she's not badly injured or something. As soon as I was done reporting to Lord Nobunaga, I started looking for Isabella. During my search, I ran into one of her seamstress friends who happened to know where she was. She should be in here. Isabella, are you in there? I'm coming in. Okay. Next. Continue romance. I've never played Hideyoshi's, you know, stories like this. And on top of that, I not yet done with his route, nor started it. Because I'm busy with some other stuffs. School, you know. And I'm still in Kenshin's route. Isabella, are you in there? I'm coming in. The door rattled as I slid it open. I think I'm in. I think the MC is injured. You know. Oh, oh, hi there, Hideyoshi. A star, starlet. Isabella looked up. She seemed to be in the middle of put, putting ointment on one of her ankles, which appeared to be swollen. Yeah, I'm right. She's injured. Is it sprained? Um, it's not that. It's not. It's not as bad as it looks. Knowing her, she was probably trying to hide it so as not to worry me but now i'm even more worried about her pass that over here hmm what for isabella isabella gave me a questioning look as i took the jar of ointment from her i'll do it oh thanks grateful that she didn't try to argue with me i heaved a silent sigh of relief then then i began to gently apply the ointment to the swollen area that mo the moment i started to rub the salve into her ankle, I heard a sharp intake of breath. Yeah, I think it's not like a uh, small injury. I think it's like a big one. Sorry, did that hurt? I immediately, I immediately stopped and pulled my hand away. 
A little, but it's fine. I can handle it. It's just you and me here, Isabella. You don't have to push through the pain. Let me take care of you. Aww. If I was playing as MC, like, in real, like, Hideo she was right in front of me, I would let him take care of me. You know, I think it feels nice when you know someone cares about you. Not only on your well-being, just like the whole you. Isabella smiled and put on a brave face, but that only made me even more concerned. Given how swollen it is, I'm sure it's gonna hurt. The trip home must been rough. I was riding a horse, horse, so it wasn't that bad. Is she still trying to pretend that she's fine? At any rate, it looks like Mitsunari's information was accurate. How much did he tell you? When you put that, when you said how much did he tell you, I think something big is still going on. At any rate, it looks like Mitsunari's information was accurate. How much did he tell you? Isabella looked down at bit guilt guiltily as I continued to tend to her uncle. He said that according to one of the soldiers, you leaped in front of a wounded man to protect him. So you heard about that, huh? I can only imagine how scared she must have been, but she still risked her life without a second thought. I should have let her accompany me. If only I have been with her, this never would have happened. See, that's why MC doesn't want to tell Hideyoshi if he's, if she's hurt or not because she he would worry more and would stress him more. Isabella meant the world to me. Oh, And I couldn't forgive myself for not being there when she needed me the most. Sorry for worrying you. Why are you apologizing? You have nothing to be sorry about. I just felt sorry. MC just felt sorry because you're worrying doubled up you know i'm the one who failed you hideyoshi tends to overthink things a lot you know that's what i realized once i was done taking care of isabella's uncle i gently wrapped my arms around her mm. Mm. someday i hope i can experience that hideyoshi what's wrong i'm sorry i wasn't able to come running to your rescue i can only imagine how scary that must have been Nah, I'm fine. I just sprained my ankle, that's all. It's no big deal. Thanks for helping me take care of it, though. It's the least I can do. It might not be a big deal to you, but it is to me. A sprained ankle is going to make it difficult for her to get around and do all the things she normally does. And knowing her, she's going to overdo it and end up making it worse. And you, my love, is worrying too much. <laughs> I laid my hands on her on her shoulders and pulled back a bit to look her in the eye. Starting tomorrow, you'll need to cut back on work for a while. What? I can't do that. I told you I'm fine. You're not fine. You can keep sewing as long as you sit down while you work, but that's it. I'll talk to Lord Nobunaga and see if I can take over your chatelain duties for a while. See? Hideyoshi is so sweet. Next to Mitsunari. Yeah, I admit that. They're all so sweet. But I remember that Hideyoshi is so hostile when I MC came. When MC was introduced. Okay, love challenge. Let's go. Uh You're not fine. You can keep suing as long as you sit down while you work, but that's it. I'll talk to Lord Nobunaga and see if I can take care of your chatelaine duties for a while. Despite my efforts to convince her, Isabella still seemed hesitant. But you've already got your own work to do. I'd feel bad for making you do my job on top of everything else. It's sweet of her to be concerned about me when she's going through such a tough time, but I can't back down on this. It'll, it'll be only uh, until your uncles heal. We're obviously going to overdo it if I leave you to your own devices, so let me help you, alright? Seeing just how um, sincere, just imagining how sincere his eyes was, I would say that I would trust him and his judgments, you know? Alright, thanks. Her smile was so contagious that I found myself smiling back at her. No problem. Good, I'm glad she's taking my advice. I patted Isabella's head as a wave of relief washed over me. However, the very next day, I discovered that my travels ha troubles had only just begun. 
Hey, you shouldn't be carrying something that heavy by yourself. Typical MC being stubborn, you know? She doesn't back down, you know? <laughs> I swear, the moment I take my ass eyes off her, she always starts doing something she's not supposed to. It was sheer coincidence that we happened to bump into each other in the hallway. I didn't mean to nag, but when I saw her carrying an armful of fabric, I know I had to say something. But it's just fabric, it's not that heavy. No buts, hand it over. <laughs> then, not more than a few days later, Isabella, don't you realize how dangerous, dangerous it is to be out and about with your uncle the way it is? When I got back from taking care of some business, I ran into Isabella who, has, who was heading out to buy some fabric. I know, but I don't have that much to get and I won't be going very far. You still shouldn't be walking around. Write down a list of what you need. I'll go get it for you. Oh, that is so sweet. Now, it makes my standards of men higher and higher. <laughs> I don't have any problem going shopping for her. All she had to do was ask. Yet here she is trying to do everything herself again. Oh no, I couldn't ask you to do that. You're already doing me a huge favor by taking over my chatelaine duties. It's okay to ask for help, you know, especially at a time like this. Yo, it's not bad to ask for help. Especially to your lover. Come on. Okay. Oh no, I couldn't ask you to do that. You're already doing me a huge favor by taking over my chatelaine duties. It's okay to ask for help, you know, especially at a time like this. Well... Alright, thank you. Even as she said those words, guilt was written all over her face. Hey now, don't give me that look. But I feel bad for making you do all this when you're already so busy. I'll under I understand that since, you know, Hideyoshi is a warlord and he got many duties and I was I feel like I was piling into his duties, you know. I feel bad. <laughs> I will feel bad. I'm doing all this because I want to. I patted Isabella on the head, hoping to reassure her. She's right about one thing though. I've got a ton of work to do now that the, that the battle's over. See, I'm right. Still, the least I can do is help out the woman I love while she's injured. How sweet is that? A few days went by. On top of my own work, I had taken over all of Isabella's responsibilities as, as chatelaine. And so, that night, I was up late once again sorting letters. This is the least I can do for her. It's nothing, really. I think Hideyoshi is tired and still convincing himself that she he had to continue because Isabella is counting on him. Or it's like it's his way of repaying, of not being able to protect Isabella. Oh, MC. Oh my god, I keep using Isabella's name. I'm so sorry. Encouraging myself, I pick up my writing brush once more. Just then, Masamuni dropped by for a visit. You don't look so good. Are you good getting enough sleep? Now I feel guilty about it. Oh my god. Is it that obvious? I was starting to feel pretty worn out, but I was surprised he could tell. I've been doing my best not to let it show. I've had a few late nights lately, but it's no big deal. Anyway, did you need something? Yeah, Lord Nobunaga wanted me to give you this letter. Masamuni pulled a letter from his pocket and handed it over me. Thanks. I took it and write as I was about to wave and tell Masamuni goodbye. Hey, Hideyoshi. Isabella walked in the room, her expression somewhat clouded. Isabella, what's wrong? Are you having trouble sleeping? Kind of. Sorry to bother you, but do you think we could talk for a bit? Whatever you want to discuss, we, will, we can talk about it tomorrow. You're injured, remember? You need to get plenty of rest so your body can recover. Staying up this late is bad for your health. Look, Hideyoshi. I tried to lead her back to bed, but Isabella shifted to stand in the doorway, blocking my path. Her arms were crossed and she didn't seem to have any intention of moving. I appreciate your concern, but I'll be fine. Just listen to me, alright? Um, couples should understand that communication will always be the key. Next to trust, communication. And your relationship will work. But if God would say no, your relationship would not work, it would not work. <laughs> okay. And we're off to the part two. Let's go. I tried to lead her back to bed, but Isabella shifted to stand in the doorway blocking my path. Her arms were crossed and she didn't seem to have any intention of moving. 
I appreciate your concern, but I'll be fine. Just listen to me, alright? You've been trying to take on more than you can handle lately. I'm really worried about you. Oh, Isabella. Her statement was so sincere and straight to the point that for a moment I was lost for words. I'm fine, really. I would say he's not. He's lacking of sleep and it would affect him, you know? I'm way more worried about you than I'm um, about myself. Oh, oops. Oh, that's so... Uh, I, w- I would always say, oh, that's so sweet because I can't experience that. Masamuni has been quietly watching our exchange, but at that point, he spoke up. Hideyoshi, I get that you're worried about the last, but she's got a point. Don't you think you're trying to do a bit too much? It's nothing I can't handle. Besides, this is between me and Isabella. Now that's all you wanted to talk about, then let's get you back to bed. Come on, I'll tuck you in. I gently urge her to head back in that direction, but... Stop treating me like your little sister. Oh, I think an argument will be going on. She brushed my hand aside, her tone a bit sharper than before. Isabella, if you won't listen to me, then I'll find another way to get my point across. With that, Isabella spun on her heel and went back to the bedroom. For a moment, I simply stared at the hand she'd she'd brushed off lost in my thoughts. She really thinks I've been treating her like a sister. But it's, it feels like it, you know, when sometimes some people would always think that when you care a lot, it means like you're spoiling them to the point that they would get annoyed by it. Sometimes, some people. My felt as heavy as lead and my chest fu- my chest tightened. Well, hang in there and try to, and try to take it easy, alright? Masamuni clapped me on the shoulder before walking out the door. The day after her argument with Hideyoshi, Isabella went to see Nobunaga. Have you already recovered from your injury? I think she's going to talk about Hideyoshi. Have you already recovered from injury? He asked casually, leaning one table on his armrest. Yeah, I'm fine. Hideyoshi's just a worrywart. Worrywart. A wire smile tugged at Isabella's lips as she explained the situation. He cannot help it, you know, it is simply part of his personality. I know, that's why I came to ask if I could resume my duties as Chatelain. Hideyoshi hasn't been getting nearly enough sleep lately, I'm worried about him. Oh, they're worried about each other. That's what couples always do. Unless it's just a one-sided love, you know, like one person just only worries for one person and that, uh, and that other person just doesn't give a damn about that about her partner he's her partner that's heartbreaking isabella's hands clenched into fist on her lap i understand your concern after a moment of pause nobunaga shifted his attention to the door ranmaru yes i was actually i was looking forward for this guy's route i'm i'm waiting you know the door opened and Ranmaru entered the room. As of this moment, I am assigning Ranmaru as your assistant. As Chatelaine, you play an important role in the Oda forces. Don't worry, Lady Isabella. I'll help you, I'll help you with whatever needs doing. Thanks, Ranmaru, and thank you, Nobunaga. This is the least I can do. That evening, Ranmaru and I meet up, careful to avoid any prying eyes. Everything played out just like you said it would, Lord Hideyoshi. Good to know. Oh... Hideyoshi would always be one step ahead. Glad I planned ahead. Thankfully, I've been one step ahead of Isabella and had already asked Lord Nobunaga to have Ranmaru as sister. I felt a bit better knowing Ranmaru's with her. Thanks again for doing this. Ranmaru looked deep in thought and after a moment he spoke up. I'm more happy than I'm more than happy to help out Lord Hideyoshi, but but what? I think he's going to say something about Hideyoshi worrying too, worrying too much. I'm more than happy to help out Lord Hideyoshi, but... But... My dogs are so loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I can understand why you're worried about Lady Isabella. But I think Lady Isabella knows that you're worried about her because you care. Ranmaru paused, choosing his words carefully. Yeah, I'm right. I listened carefully, taking his advice to heart. I know she does, but still, having me treat her like a kid's sister must have hurt. If I had guessed, I'd say that the reason Lady Isabella is so upset is because she wants you to have a little more faith in her. Exactly. To have more faith in her? Am I acting this way because I feel like I can trust her? 
All I want is to protect her and take care of her. Does that mean I don't believe she's capable of taking care of herself? Now that Ranmaru have brought it up, I started to think it over. Oh come on, Dirty Diyoshi, don't look so discouraged. He patted me on the shoulder and half smiled at me, trying to cheer me up. Oh, I know. Come here tomorrow at noon. Tomorrow at noon? Why does he suddenly want to meet up with me tomorrow? I tilted my head, confused by his sudden excitement. Yep, that's right, so make sure you're here on time, okay? And with that, Ranmaru skipped away, leaving me there alone. Ranmaru is a really a... Happy-go-lucky kid, actually. If he's, he was not associated to... Mm, I won't spoil. <laughs> the next day, I made my way to the meeting place at noon, just like Ranmaru had asked me to. After a few minutes, I heard someone coming towards me. I think it's MC. Is that Isabella's voice I hear? I think Ranmaru planned on making... Um... Hideyoshi and MC's relationship, you know, to go back to the road. Okay, let's go. The next day, I made my way to the meeting place at noon, just like Ranmaru had asked me to. After a few moments, I heard someone coming towards me. Is that Isabella's voice I hear? When I listened closer, I quickly realized that Isabella and Ranmaru were headed in my direction. Not wanting to be spotted, I quickly hid behind one of the pillars. I looked around the corner and saw the two of them walking side by side, each carrying a stack of letters. So, not to be nosy or anything, but I heard that things are kinda awkward between you and Lord Hideyoshi. How are you holding up? I think Ranmaru is playing, you know. If they won't made with up, I would, you know. Ranmaru stopped and Isabel also slowed to a halt before answering his question. Okay, I guess, honestly though, it's partly my fault that things have gotten so awkward between us. I really appreciate his concern, but I can't help but worry that he's going to wear himself out trying to take care of me. Oh, That sad look on her face made my heart hurt. Oh, it makes me so jealous. Why are you only in this game, man? Hmm, I guess I can understand that. But like Lord Nobunaga said, Lord Hideyoshi is super nice and he's always trying to help everyone. I think he just gets a little overprotective when it comes to you. He wants to do everything he can to keep you safe and happy. You really think so? I do. Honestly, I'm a little jealous. Ranmaru's, Ranmaru's expression suddenly look wistful. Jealous? Why is that? Because it means he really cares about you. <laughs> I wish I knew what was going through your mind right now, Ranmaru. I couldn't figure out why, but sometimes he get this really sad look on his face. He was absolutely right though. That was exactly how I felt. Yeah, I know he does. The thing is, I don't want to be like a little sister to him. I want to be his partner, not another person he has to take care of. Finally, I understood. Finally, you understood. <laughs> Okay, let's go, let's go. Finally, I understood. Her words left me speechless. Is that how I've been making her feel? Lady Isabella. A bright smile spread across Ranmar's face until he was grinning from ear to ear. Hmm, you feel the same way because you love him. If you ask me, this all happened because you two love each other too much. Too much love will kill you. <laughs> so you just kiss and make up already, okay? Only then I realized that Ranmaru had done all this to give us a push in the right direction. Yes. I always do that to my friends, you know. When they've got into a relationship and then a rough patch. I would sometimes do a heart-to-heart -heart talk with my friend or a boyfriend. The next day, after I was done taking care of the few things at my manor, I headed back to my room so I could get ready to see Isabella. I got home so late last night that we didn't get a chance to talk. But today, I'll make things, I'll make time so that she and I can work this out. With a spring in my step, I made my way to my room. There, I found Isabella pacing back and forth in front of my door. They're just thinking the exact same way. What's she doing here? When I took a closer look, I saw that she was carrying some sort of note. Is that for me? Sure enough, I caught a glimpse of my name on the back. Suddenly, I felt a lump in my throat. Looks like Isabella wants to talk to me too. Hi there, Isabella. Oh, hey, Diyoshi. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Isabella spun around, looking a bit surprised. Can we take a walk? Sure. 
The two of us made our way to the grassy meadow that have a beautiful view. It still isn't as beautiful as you though. <laughs> I want someone to say that. Oh, I want someone to say that to me. The look on her face as she struggled to find the right words was so adorable that I found myself reaching out for her. Hideyoshi, is everything okay? Isabella looked up to me, at me with a hint of concern as I gently wrapped my arms around her. It will be, but first there's something I need to tell you. So, we... Well, I would cut this video and this part since, as you can see, I still have to work to have the premium ending. I have to work my ass off, but I'm thinking maybe I should do with sweet endings. But I think tomorrow I can give the premium ending for this one, but for the rest, I'm not sure if I will be able to give a premium ending. So, that's it for today, tonight. I don't know what if you're gonna read this by day or by night but thank you guys for watching um stay tuned and uh peace off bye bye oh i forgot don't forget to like to leave a like subscribe comment i appreciate all of you guys the my 39 subscribers thank you so much for supporting me and and also you can comment down i was also I was kinda confused if I should continue using my voice or not. So you should comment down. So, this is for real. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope, I really really hope you'll stay tuned for the next one for Hideyoshi's premium ending. So, bye guys! Have a nice day or good night. Mwah!